Hello, welcome to the video on proving triangles congruent using the HL theorem or the hypotenuse leg theorem. This is our first example set, example set A. And this is going to be a quick fun little exercise. All we're going to do here is add more information to these figures, to these sketches, so that one could prove that the triangles are congruent using the HL theorem. Okay. So one thing we want to keep in mind, if you recall from the lesson, is the HL theorem deals with right triangles. Okay, so we have to be able to show with these triangles uh, that they're right triangles. Okay, that's the first condition. And the second thing is we need to establish congruency amongst or show congruency amongst the hypotenuse and at least one leg. Okay, so that's the objective here. So this is going to be pretty fast and hopefully you found it pretty easy. So let's take our first one here. So I'm just kind of looking at this. These two angles here appear to be you know right triangle right tr uh, excuse me right angles and of course indicating these are right triangles so I'm going to go ahead and just indicate this like so okay so you see the purpose of this exercise I'm just going to kind of putting in marks or notations so we can um, have enough information here so now we have right triangles but now we need to go ahead and, and show that the hypotenuse of each um, triangle is congruent. Each right triangle is congruent. So which one is the hypotenuse? Okay, it's this. This is the hypotenuse for that triangle and this is the hypotenuse for this triangle. So let's go ahead and show that they are equal. Okay, And now it's really up to you on what leg you want to show, which uh, pair of legs you want to show being congruent. Okay, Because then that would be the HL. We have the H. We just need the L part. So maybe we'll do this. Okay, But if I show that this particular leg is congruent to what? Its corresponding part, its corresponding leg. Okay, so this would be enough information to show uh, congruency amongst these two triangles using the HL theorem. Okay, got our right uh, triangle, we have the hypotenuse, and we have the leg. All right, okay, let's move on here. So I'm looking at this triangle. I got two triangles kind of side by side next to one another. So these two angles there appear to be right. So let's go ahead and just do this. Okay, so now we have our right triangles. And now we need to show the hypotenuse being congruent. So this is the hypotenuse. Remember, it's the longest leg of these triangles. So let's do this. Okay. And now we need just we need to show just one more leg. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this leg they share, this is a common leg. Okay, so I could do this, that's fine, okay, because they both share the same leg, or I can show these corresponding legs there to be congruent. Okay, either way is fine. All right, and that, in the course, would be enough to use the HL theorem to show congruency. All right, let's move on to this third figure. So I'm thinking right here we can throw in some right angles. Okay, so now we have right triangles. And let's see here, our hypotenuse appears to be, looks like this and this, okay, would be our hypotenuse. So let's show congruency. And then all we need to do is show one of the pair of legs being congruent. So maybe these two. Okay, so now we have the hypotenuse, leg, hypotenuse, leg, and of course our right triangles. All right, last uh, figure. So I'm just kind of studying this. I'm kind of just, you know, eyeballing it to see which which angle looks, you know, to be the best or, you know, as far as a right triangle. These two right here appear to be a right angle. So I'm going to go like this. And now I have two right triangles. And now where is my hypotenuse? Okay. they The same segment is the hypotenuse for each right triangle. Okay. So you can do this if you want. Okay, so this is now showing that you have both, um, uh, each hypotenuse is congruent with one another. And now we just have to figure out the corresponding legs. So maybe these two legs right here. And we have a hypotenuse leg, right triangle situation. We can use the HL theorem to show congruency. Okay, i.e. the two triangles are congruent. And quick pop quiz, what does it mean to be congruent? All right, same size and same shape. Okay, same size and same shape. All right, so hopefully this uh, exercise served its purpose to reinforce the theorem. And just remember, the HL theorem 
it goes into your toolkit all the of all those other postulates and theorems we've been studying. Okay, so you, you don't want to forget those, especially on a test when you're just given, you know, any uh, situation and you have to, you know, use all your tools to figure out what's the best way or what theorem or postulate would apply to prove congruency. Okay, keep working hard. We'll see you soon.